Alright. Zero one zero three four. One three zero four. The lion. It's not Alex. Right. Ready. I'm ignoring this kid because he's going to sleep. This. Okay, the odds are not in your favor. 69. There you go. Welcome to the Battle Royale. Were there are only two rules: kill or be killed. Eh, I'm already dead. Uh, stop <laughs> stopping to visit the place where everyone's murdering each other was a sort of a question was a sort of questionable decision on your part. Hey, look who it is! My daughter. But it's too late to leave now. So how will you survive? Fucking hide. <laughs> Let's make some strong alliances. You and your friends are walking around the battle royale doing your best not to get murdered when you run into your friend Dahlia. Hey you guys, I didn't know you were gonna be at the battle royale. Glad, glad I forgot to say hi before I had to brutally murder you all. Huh. Well why would you murder us bro? Aren't we friends? I'd rather team up with you than be killed by you. Of course you're friends, but there's no team in battle royale. I'll stop at nothing. Attention everyone, someone announces over a loudspeaker, we'll now be implementing a new rule, partner battles. Everyone find a partner and kill as many people as you can together until you're the last group standing. Good luck! Oh, looks like we can, we can do teams now, that's cool. But which of you should strategically be the best pair for me? Scott's got the brawn, but probably the, <laughs> a clear advantage for being un unrekillable. Hmm. I think I'll go with... Oh, Dahlia Kino, it is I, Batness, the obvious protagonist of this battle royale scenario. Here to ally with you in my hour of need. We'll be unstoppable with your incredible killing physique, my plot armor, and our palpable romantic subplot energy. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> By combining our forces, we're sure to win the battle and take down the government in the meantime. Oh, sick. I'm good with that. See you on the other side, losers. Okay, you guess Dahlia's out of the equation? Which means this is one of the situations where you choose between Polly or Scott. Prank masters for Ooh, life! Bad news, there's ah. and I are paired <laughs> up with each other. <laughs> Prank masters for life! <laughs> Great, time to get desperate. You see two lone people still searching for someone's snack. One of them quick. Sorry. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Alex, I know you're gonna pick. I don't care. Daddy. Jolly guy seems to have fucked kind of cosmetics. Someone who has invested so much into this bullshit, he probably knows a thing or two. Brooding aloof bastard that looks like she's seen too much. She literally has a visible pulsating aura, so that must mean something. Uh, Fortnite or... <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Your partner accepts your presence with a dismissive eye roll. Fine. I guess if I have a if I have to partner with someone to win, it might as well be you. But if we're going to win this, I need you to commit. To commit. I won't let you be a burden on my power. I'll teach you how I access my dark magic. But be warned, the path to power is a dark, twisted, lonely road. The only road I've ever known. <laughs> Magic this powerful and edgy doesn't come for free. You'd be a powerhouse, sure, able to bend the universe to your will, but at what cost? The cost of listening to this broody bullshit for an hour, maybe. Well, at least the training gives you. Uh, the training she gives you teaches you plus three magic. Hey there, Jimmy! I'll just sever his one pipe with a well-fired arrow. Full of resistance! 
You stop madness as arrow mid in midair with your mind. Your resistance is futile. You say? As futile as the search for happiness in this wretched world. <laughs> yes, you've learned well. You know the truth now. Magic is power, and power is loneliness. Abandon your puny peers. Dreams, optimism, friendship, wearing bright colors. It's all just a distraction from true power. Oh, Jesus, I so much. I just want to come here and murder people for fun and not get all sad and junk. Yeah, way to ruin the all oh, hope is lost portion of my hero's journey, jerk. Yeah, I'm not even in the mood to kill you anymore. Come on, Dahlia, let's go. Use your dark brooding powers to murder lots of people, but it doesn't bring you the joy that murdering people usually does. Was learning magic really worth the cost of spending an afternoon with the physical embodiment of a 14-year-old's dark poetry book? You lose minus three hype. Cats can't normally drive, but I am no I do like that cat. we speak a lot in this game. <laughs> Some more hype and maybe some more money. Oh, both of these have a chance. Well. <laughs> Bruh, I like wigs, not gonna lie. Wigs of every color, shape, and style from Afro to Updo are on display Wig here. to meet you, madam. You never knew there was such a rich history to artificial hair. There are plenty of things to check out at the museum. You decide to. Check out the exhibition would probably be mine, right? Maybe. I assume so. But do you think that one will be losing money? I have no idea. It'll probably be mine and then hype down. Probably. Why did the kids store give you hype? Are they trying to make it fun for the kids? Uh, I'll risk it because we're not dreadfully low yet. You, Polly, and Scott enjoy wandering around the magical wigs for the fabulous exhibition. For all of four minutes. Time. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah, I'm tired of staring at all these wigs. Let's try some on. <clears throat> Please do not try on the wigs, ma'am, says an employee, or I'll be forced to call security. If we can't try them on, can we at least <laughs> eat them? I'm hungry, and the big powdered wigs look like cotton candy. If you eat the wigs, I'll definitely need to call security. This witch here. Sign says it has arcane powers incomprehensible to any mortal. <laughs> I'm not mortal anymore. Let me comprehend them. Your boy sighs and clicks a button in his pocket, and you're all forcibly carried to the next room by security guards. This sucks. This system, how the hell are we supposed to have fun here if we can't touch stuff, eat stuff, or fuck around? It's forbidden magic. Great question. You don't know much about having fun at the museum yourself. But you know a lot about bothering people who want to be left alone. You look around the exhibition and, uh, <clears throat> and decide who to pester for your entertainment. Whoa. Oh. The curious fellow who seems. I think the one on the right might get us some money. <laughs> the dandy suave gentleman who looks quite. <laughs> so, other homie probably give us some hype. Oh, they all they both look. Hype or mind. Honestly, I dig both of them, so it's your choice. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Said gentleman moves closer to you casually, each dropping Philly with a Tasha case. I'll do him. Yeah, uh, look. Uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do you want to? Do him? No, go ahead. Huh? Fuck yeah, you guys. Nice, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, hey, guess we misjudged you. Sorry about. It. Okay, you caught me. I'm here to do a heist and steal the magic wigs in the exhibition. Now that you know, do you want to join my heist crew? Uh, sure. The gentleman takes you outside to a black van parked out front. He opens the back doors to reveal a bunch of people inside. This big fella here is Tony Macaroni. He's our muscle. He's bald as you can see and he really wants a nice expensive wig to cover it up. There's Miss A. Pierre, the master of disguise. She can turn into anyone. Her only weakness is not having enough wigs. 
until today. And that's codename Hard Drive. <laughs> They're our hacker. Also our getaway driver. We're a small team of wig heist enthusiasts, so we wear multiple hats. But soon, we will wear multiple wigs. And the magical wigs we steal today will be the crown jewels of our collection. Once we've harnessed their power, we'll be able to steal all the wigs we want. Go team! Solid team, bro. What's the story behind your wig obsession anyway? It's all part of my mysterious past. Wig wearing femme fatales fill my backstory, but that won't be fully explored until this high sequel. Anyway, as for you two, your code names are Big Puppy and High Spirits. And you That's will weird. play the vital role of being the distraction. <laughs> Lit, I really did it being distracting. I have pom pom to fade grenades and scat pockets whenever you're ready to go. No, no. Your job's already over. You see, I needed you to help me distract the audience while the real heist leader finished grabbing the goods. What? The suave gentleman takes off his hyper realistic silicone master and will disappear. Gasp. <laughs> The real leader jumps in the back of the van with a bag full of magical wigs. We couldn't have done this without you. Here's your cut of the spoils and a burner phone. We'll be in touch. Hard drive, we're ready to go. Hard drive speeds off as the leader shouts, Arriva. Arriva Derchi. <laughs> we did it! Yay, we did it. I mean, we didn't really do anything, but we somehow did it anyway, which is the best way to do stuff. I say so, which is fine, cause homegirl that I have gives us soul. Huh? Was not expecting magic. magic. I was not either. That's weird. Ugh, I need my fourteen hours of sleep. Uh, so do we just keep her to activate her ability, or? Uh, I yeah. Like that's all we have to do. I think, I think so. so. Yeah. Can you guys see me looking at my dares? No, okay. but I was just looking at mine too. I just didn't know if you see them. I don't remember how to look at mine. Click your thing. Yeah, or you can press one through three. Like, oh, I'm knackered. Uh, where's my thing at? Press two. Uh, all right, I'll use my keyboard. Well, I mean, you could, Are you using a controller? No. I think it's like RB oh. for your controller. Oh, I still have my uh, three resources at the same value. Anyway, oh, look, yeah. 666. Six, six. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's Satan number. Anyway, let's get started. Just choose up. one thing. You can do it. Mm, do I go for mine? I feel uh, like it might not be the best uh, bet fuck, right I could have got both of them. <laughs> God damn it. What do you think, Christian? I mean, why wouldn't you go for yours? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Take a short. Don't look me in the eye. We're gonna do a swap shop where we're gonna do a discount cup by double. Buy all those things for yourself for my good pie, yeah? What is that face? I love him so much. Well, look at him. He sweats whenever you hover over some things. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, because he was talking about that tape last time, too. What does it do? We could spare some magic, maybe. Here's the problem, I need something that gives me magic. I don't mm, think any of that right. does, does it? That one would give me... Maybe the top left one, but... Yeah. What a post postcard from your mom would be soul. That would be money. Or no, that'd be magic. That would be magic. Yeah. Yeah, what would that be? Maybe mine? Probably mind? Cause it's mind control. That would be mind too. Well, that or hype, maybe, maybe stamina. Probably not stamina. Hmm. How much does this usually take from you, Andrew? You've done this more than it, well. Last time it was one. Before it was like two or something. It just depends on the item I got. I took the three out. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <bitch. laughs> That's what I actually got for your 12th birthday. You what? I own 17 <laughs> socks. What? <laughs> Good night. This is going well. I'm okay. Dick Polly's dare listen and decide to wax your arms. Fortunately, oh. 
No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, you fuckhead. You fucking I bitch forget. ass. I was reading my... I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you really are a motherfucking bitch, aren't you? Um, wait, I thought you said you needed to do yours. What was yours? Oh. Used to be a risky traveler at the rest stop car thrice. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's why you were hesitant on doing it, because you didn't want to have to do it three times. I thought you had the no. one that was talked to Polly. No, no that's just Andrew. Oh, okay. Yeah, I fucked up and didn't do it. Anyway, unfortunately, nobody packed in any hair waxing kits, so you have to use duct tape instead. Polly assures you that the first layer of skin will grow back eventually. Probably. Oh well, at least you gained 15 prank dollars. What does that do? I don't remember. Click it. Such peace and quiet. Right, it gives you, it takes down one of your lowest and gives you one of your highest. Yeah, turn. Yay. Time for the dares. Did you ever seen a cat drive? Uh, all right. Then you get hype dollars just for sitting alone, or prank dollars for the. Yeah. Hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Looking a little rough. <laughs> oh, this seat is comfy. Over that soul is looking a little good. <laughs> Going to the caves. <laughs> Our soul. <laughs> So I have a chance for soul as well. Tracian. Mm. He'll be back. He always comes back. Go ahead and read. I'll, I'll be right back. Be inside the stank dark cave. Oh, shiny! Golden jewels, an abandoned mine shaft, dinosaur bones, an ancient civilization that's yet to be uncovered. I mean, all those things are hella unlikely. Yeah, it's almost definitely just a bunch of bats and rocks in there. <clears throat> but you won't know for the, that for sure until you explore the cave. What are you get? What are you going to do here? Damn. Eat soul up. Yeah, fuck okay. it. Uh, you, Polly, and Scott are hiking around the cave looking at cool slag mites and bats when you hear voices coming from a far off chamber. Whoa, bros, there are people in here and they're chained to that wall! Ooh, kinky. Hey! She said, Don't right. worry, everyone. We're gonna save you and bring you back to the outside world. What are you talking about? The, oh shit, that was me. The prisoner asked. <laughs> we don't need saving, we like it here. This place has everything we need. The cave people nod at the walls opposite them. You look and see that there are shadow puppets being projected on it. Look, the shadow doggy's back and he's playing with the shadow buddy in the amorphous shadow blob. Best day ever. Those shadows aren't real, like, what if something changes? I'll show you that the outside world is more than just shadow puppets. No! The prisoners yell. How dare you try to force us to expand our narrow world views! The shadows are all we've ever known. Why would we abandon them when we're already happy and complacent here? Just learning the truth is worth overcoming your fear of the unknown, damn it. Timmy, how did we talk to these people into leaving? Was the Beautiful taste to convince them that the outside world is full of much cooler shadows. Time to no incur some good old student debt. 
PhD in philosophy. Oh. Uh, how much money do we have? So we have that. Well, that's what I was about to say. Here, what? I'm not trying to say this. This time, I'm not actually trying to screw you. This is like just. If we do the money one, we're just gonna be right back where we started with soul. So we're gonna have to do our next mission is money. If you do, that one's gonna be mine. I think this one's gonna be stamina. Think so? No, it's not different stamina. It's probably. I don't know. Every Prime. time we say it's mine, it's not mine though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we'll do this. I don't need a PhD. Strategy. Time for playing one. Time for playing one. Wait for me for just a second. I'm about to beat my kid to death. A montage passes of you beating your kid to death, <laughs> reading books about shadows, writing on a chalkboard, practicing your shadow puppets, and doing chemistry for some reason. You lose three mind in the exhaustive research and planning, but finally you have your irrefutable case on why the prisoners should leave. <laughs> Listen up, bros. We know you think shadows are cool, but the shadows outside this cave are even cooler. So come with us. That's it. That's your whole argument? What about the montage? What about the chemistry bit? So we are not convinced, the prisoners say. The shadows in here are already pretty great. True, but get this. The outside world the shadows are so cool and interesting, they even have their own mascot. Ooh. His name is Shadows. <laughs> really? There's that name trouble right there, huh? Shadow the Hedgehog, he's so popular he has his own video game and has lots of huge fetish art. Oh. oh! The prisoners say. Well, we do love lewd fetish stuff. Our second favorite thing to shadows is being chained to walls after all. Nice. I knew it, I knew it. This was kinky. You successfully free the prisoners and they go to the outside world to meet Shadow the Hedgehog. Unfortunately, they're completely blinded by Shadow's coolness. But all that matters is you gaining three soul for the rescue. Sure, I'll try for a bit. There's no shame in sticking to a budget, but honestly, you might have been better off sleeping in the Pizza! car. But hey, sometimes you just gotta rough it for a night. It'll build character. At least that's what you tell yourself while you're browsing the abysmal room options available to you. Too late to back down now, though. Which room will you rent for the night? Well, and it's just a hole in the floor. A haunted room where somebody was totally murdered. The room with only one bed. Ooh. That's what I was thinking, but also the haunted room where somebody was totally murdered. I want to meet ghosts. Okay. I'm down for it. You get to your room. It's haunted. Say what you want about this motel, but you can't accuse them of false advertisement. Welcome to your room. Hope you don't mind if my fellow curses and I unravel your sanity tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ham, I'm already dead, so the curses don't fuck with me up. Don't fuck me up too much. I'm not even afraid of spaghetti. Sergey. Sergey, the Italian chef who drowned in the bathtub. He cursed all the faucets to only dispense some cold, creepy pasta. <laughs> awesome, bro! Wait, we get a room with unlimited pasta faucets? This rules! Do any of the other appliances dispense garlic bread? No. I have a mirror, mirror, Mary, the spirit trapped in the mirror, whale's funeral, dirges, dirges through the night. Ah, <laughs> oh, sit. I was just saying, I wanted to do a 4 a.m. karaoke, but Jimmy said we couldn't if we didn't have a backup vocalist. This is great. Yeah, it's just fucking super. <laughs> <laughs> We got two backup singers, actually. Check out that guy staring at us in the corner. I bet he's got a great singing voice and a bubbly <gasps> personality. That's actually super super, super unsettling. Who the hell are you? I'm Tanner, says the creep. I was killed in this corner by a guest I was watching sleep. She stabbed me. Can you believe it? Your death was, total, was a total 
than just his tan. It's just given <laughs> right to haunt this room in revenge and stare at yes all night long. Um, no, Spooky Spaghetti, I can handle the creature men staring at me while I sleep is not allowed to do something to me. Nothing technical, please. I'm listening, listening, listing every bird known to man aloud. Wait, Upgrade what? Upgrade curse, see if the ghost of the guy who drowned in champagne and now vomits free champagne is available. Uh, I feel like this one will probably be money if I'm upgrading my curses. Uh, nice. money or mine. Uh, Maybe soul. Hmm. I would the first one be soul? I don't think the first one is. I have no idea. Because I'm helping him complete his unfinished business, so that might gain me soul. But since it's listing every bird, lose hype. That, that loses hype. Pick whatever you feel like, man. This one would probably gain hype. So, yeah, I'll try my best at this. You want me to list all of the birds? Yes, I do. Okay, if you really think that'll work. Uh, Albatross. Oh, okay. No, sorry about that. No, 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 no. That, no, that's right. You were right. I'm sorry. I thought I was still being painted. Blackbird, bluebird, bunting, bush, bush it. Bush tip. Bush tip. Bush tip. It is a bush tip. It's a nice tip. Cannabis pack. Hard no. Chitty. Chitty's not. Push. He's really done it. Every bird in alphabetical order. It's just gonna take like forever. Yeah, well, we'll probably be here a while. Don't worry though, it'll be worth it to get rid of him. Get him. Doddle. Dove. Dove. Duck. American Black Duck. Fawcett Duck. Fulvus Whistling Duck. Oh my god. He's gonna list every subtype of each bird, too. Okay, Polly, just cover your ears and it'll be over soon. Eagle, Falcon, Finch, Flycatcher, Godwit, Goldeneye, Goldfinch, Goose, Canadian Goose, Gull, Hawk, Greyhawk, Red Hawk, White Hawk, Blue Hawk. What? <laughs> there is no such thing as a Blue Hawk! Oops, I think you're right. Damn it, now I lost my place. Gotta start over. Um, <laughs> Albatross. Uh, oh. Scott hugs Polly while she goes insane. The list of birds seems to spiral on forever, and then suddenly it's over. Tenor ascends into the sky. Uh, yeah, seriously, what, do you think if I listed all the birds, I'd be the physical realm too? <laughs> Hopefully you never find out, because you never want to go through that bush tit again. I mean, bullshit again. You gain three yeah. soul, minus three height. Good. Now turn. It's a time for a decasicum. Alright, what options do I have here? I have the dungeon. I have the... Hmm. What is that? What is that? Uh, is that s what is on the far right? That's that mine. That's mine, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll try to help Andrew out since he like didn't try to fuck me over, which I wasn't trying to fuck you over that time. I was actually saying that because if you get our, if you had, if you got our money down, it would have just been the same. Like we'd have been in the same situation. Uh, yeah, no, I Normally, a dungeon would be dark, a dark, scary place to be locked up and punished. But in the world of video game logic, everyone knows dungeons are just challenging labyrinths waiting oh, to be explored. Yeah. There are plenty of ways to plunder a dungeon. What's your preferred method? Dad. You and your friends enter the dungeon. Before you use a locked door, a big square hole in the floor, and a lever. Daddy. What? 
Come on, we down. Lay down. Conundrum. Big hole, a little hole, what could it be? I'm pretty sure it's a lever. We're meant to flick it. Nah, it's too obvious. Puzzle's on your move. You gotta think outside the box. Oh, I got it! Is it thinking outside the box if we dig the hole out more? Honestly, I'm kind of just psyched to dig a hole. Thanks, Scotty! That's not a bad idea. Maybe the tea's buried down there. Good thing, Scott. Fine. You help your friends dig out the big hole even more. It's hard work and eventually Polly takes a minute to relax by leaning on the lever. Whoa. Is there an earthquake? Nope. You look up to see some things that are similar. Similar to but legally distinct from Tetris pieces falling from the ceiling. Oh, they can name drop think... Shadow the Hedgehog, but they can... Yeah. I think we're supposed to arrange those pieces to fit in the hole. Cover up a life. Oh. Seems so obvious now. Now that I have hit the lever anyway. Which, is cool. which was my plan from the get-go. Sure. You probably and Scott arranged the pieces the way you sh they should have been, but the amount dug out... But the amount dug out accidentally made the hole exactly one piece bigger. Oh, yes it can. The door came from slammed shut, and the room is filled with the ticking of a timer counting down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you think happens when that reaches zero? God, who knows? Death. Dead 2 Super Death? Something even worse than the sequel to Death? HELP! Did you do anything where... Can you do that thing where you solve our problems in an unexpected way before this... We succumb to a horrible fate? The sooner the better. Time to put your yoga skills to use to the missing piece, Asana. Assess the shop menu and see if this dungeon sells tips for puzzles or skip this level. No money or stamina. Oh, really? You think that's stamina? Yeah. Uh, maybe. I, 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 I believe so. Stamina or soul? Oh, uh, yes. Those incredible yoga skills that you definitely always had. You close your eyes and recall your training. You attended the wealthy white women monastery where you achieved peace and enlightenment for four easy payments of four nine 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 nine. Spend your days off on you spend your days on far off mystical lands of the west coast doing asanas and perfecting your technique at order at, at ordering a chai latte. Well, there, your yoga master, a woman, a man, founded the WWWM after realizing that wealthy white women would spend any amount to glimpse enlightenment. Gave you a pearl of wisdom. If you can't find the missing piece, consider that you are the missing piece. Oh. Namaste or whatever. Back then, you thought it was just a vapid, vaguely inspirational colloquialism, and honestly, it probably was. But now your shockers have a line and all his teachings make sense, or so you want to believe, for the amount of money you paid for them. Take a deep breath, stretch your stretch to your fullest, and assume the missing piece is Hana. Holy shit, you are not nearly as flexible as you used to be. Your tendons feel like they're about to snap. Whoa. Oh, check it out! Dick Sickum will perfectly fit in the slot now. Huh? Damn, let's go ahead and <laughs> So we can stop hearing his screams of pain. Ah! Ah! and Scott insert you to say what, Stan. Well, I took that sacrifice for you, Andrew, and it did not pay off. Oh, that better that fucking sauna better do stamina. Yeah. No. Wait, does that say stamina down? No, that's hype down. I might the unknown might be uh, stamina. Lay down, buddy. You know, for a vacation, this road trip has been surprisingly stressful. A spa sounds like the perfect thing to help you relax before you get to your final destination. The question is, how do you want to chill out? Well, what? What is that icon? That's uh, to be affected, no pressure. Well, I mean, we could do that. Yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah, if you get hype, you're risking trading something we're already low on. 
Give your call, though, buddy. And then Digital Detox will be trading something for it going now. Yeah. And we only have four hype. Oh my god, what happened to our hype? Hype is normally our, our highest. We just have to do that. Let's see what comes out of this. On your way to the springs, you run into the most regrammable reaper you've ever seen. Oh, is it Milo? If you're... Oh, my bad. Wait, was that Milo or was it one of you guys? Was, was it me? I don't remember. I don't remember who was Milo. Uh, uh, go ahead, go uh, ahead, buddy. And if you just turn into, turn into the live stream now, you'll see that I'm having an adorable meet cute. Meet cute with my friends. Say hi, Chad. Milo, sorry. I'm signing off now to enjoy the organic Grand Prix moment with you. Ding! Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. My, uh, Tweeter! Tweeter. You want like Elon to fucking sue us now. Bye. Hi, me lovers. Hello, darlings. What brings you to the spa? Howdy. Hi, Milo. We're on a road trip vacation. Turns out vacationing can be really stressful when you almost die a lot. So we're taking a mini spa vacation on the way. Have fun. I'm on my way to the hot springs for some de-stressing myself. Care to join me? I assume you don't feel weird about being naked together. Ah! <laughs> sure, nudity doesn't have that to be a ride. Let's get wet platonically. Magnificent. Ooh. Hold on, I'm just, just, hold on, hold on, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. I need to find my phone for no reason whatsoever. I'm just gonna go ahead and, anyways, <laughs> uh, anyways, amazing. This is just what I needed. Yesterday was such a busy work day. How so? Friends made a bet to see who'd stick their head inside of a tiger's mouth for one whole minute. Spoiler alert, no one could. Classic! Classic, that's how I died. Hmm. Are they okay though? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, Scott, I'm a reaper. They're, let's just say, not okay. Oh, his little heart changes oh. colors depending on his emotion, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I hope they get better soon. Subject change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So, Scott, how have sports been lately? Like, have the sports people scored many points? <laughs> yeah, they scored so many. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great news. Those sports people always score in points. Such <laughs> <rest>. Hashtag <laughs> blessed. Ah, uh, this is so nice. Oh, yeah. Bros? Hey, have you bros ever wondered if it's smart to split your passion between two things? <laughs> what do you mean? Um... Well, hmm. I have this friend. His name is Ska. Ska. Oh! Ska to But like, with three T's, okay? Hmm. Okay. Scott, with three T's, has <laughs> two things he really likes. He has this interest in... The thing that's not astronomy, astrology. Huh. But for the longest time, he's also been very passionate about whatever the opposite of sports is. Chess. Mm-hmm. Right. Sometimes he thinks that by getting into one of the things he likes, he's missing out the opportunity to get really good at the other thing. He told me so. Shouldn't he choose one and focus on being the best at it? It's okay, Scott. Eh, look, life isn't about getting good at things, it's about doing things that you enjoy. Maybe along the way you happen to get all you happen to also get good at things, Daddy, but this is just a happy bonus. <sighs> Polly's on point as usual. Start with three T's shouldn't be worried about this. He shouldn't focus on one thing, but but on doing all things that bring him joy. That way, at the end of the day, he'll look back and will be happy he lived a, a full life filled with not one, but many things he liked. Believe me, I've seen a lot of people at the end of the road. If anything, they more often regret things they didn't get to do. Yes, God with three t-shirts. Explore life with no regrets. Today he likes chess, tomorrow he likes astrology, it's the next day. Just in and later, who knows? Ooh! That sounds like super good advice. <laughs> I'm sure Scott with three T's will be just will do 
just fine. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like a great guy. I can spend the rest of my afterlife in here. Right? Oh, Milo, Polly. Yes, Dad? I need to come clean. Scott with three T's isn't real. It was me the whole time. What about sports and astronomy? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know much that that was. That, that was the case. Sorry I lied to you. Mm. It's okay, buddy. You're a good boy. <laughs> you give us the boys. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm the best boy. Yeah, you are, Scott. Fuck, this is so nice. Oh shit, I accidentally hit the screenshot button. What happened? I knew that hit the screenshot button so many times. <laughs> Oh, and so you spend the rest of the day doing exactly nothing. It is, in fact, very nice. You know what, that was nice. That was very nice. After this day, I'm gonna go, because my son's acting wild. <sighs> do we want to stop here, or do we want to stop after we finish this night? After we finish this okay. night, don't mind it. Yeah, no, I'm okay with that. I need five minutes. Uh, I need my 14 hours of sleep. Are you about to fuck me out of this, you motherfucker? No, I forgot that was one of your things, so I'll be entirely honest with you. <laughs> I thought one of your things was you had to do the risky thing three times. You think I'm gonna do the risky thing right now when we have stuff at three and four? Yeah. Well, what are you gonna get? What? Wait, wait, What? what is that gonna do? I don't know, I was just like, Why wouldn't you go to the noodle- If that was your justification, why wouldn't you go to the noodle stand, you lying to, bastard bitch? To fuck us. That's exactly uh, what I really it was. wasn't. I was just like, oh, I wonder what hitchhikers are available. Ten hour power nap. Literally anything but that would have worked. Because my girl's not doing anything wrong. She's taking magic and making soul. I was just curious who was there. Yeah, they, well, they don't make a dumbass excuse like, I'm trying to help us out, guys, don't worry. I didn't say I was trying to help us out. You asked why I didn't do the risky thing, and it's because it loses one of your lowest, and you gain one of your oh, highest. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, actually. That was my reasoning as to why I didn't do it. <laughs> I can hear the crickets. That's called helping us out, buddy. Oh. <laughs> so I had to talk to Polly, that's like one of my things. Yeah, but I don't think that means you have to activate the effect. I mean, you can. <laughs> what can I tell you about my good old shit? Castle early, control the center, trade a favorable pawn structure. I'm taking notes. Daddy. But the best thing you can do is read theory and then play. Play and play and play some more. Daddy. You need to exercise your chest muscles until the patterns and concepts transcend from reason to intuition. What's happening right now? <laughs> That's what That's I'm saying. Trick. That's my trick, really. I've been playing chess with my mom forever, and it happens to be an. an she happens to be a grandmaster. She and I are so different. She, she's such a calm, collected woman. I love her. Well, our personalities being written in completely different languages, chess has become our common demeanor. Uh, our shared space. We find each other in chess. I think we can understand each other through chess. <laughs> so yeah, being raised by chess grandmaster definitely helps. I agree. I'll say. Nowadays, I only seek out challenging guys. Okay. Oh, that was a cool little chat bubble. I didn't even notice that I was just okay. listening. Or it can get very boring quickly. I've developed a trick of combat boredom, that is. I build yeah, stories and personalities for my pieces, then I play accordingly. My bi knight secretly is in love with my bi bishop. I must move the knight close to his lover and be one in that one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ready to sacrifice it to save the. <laughs> Stuff, go to saw the little stories and whatnot. That way, I don't get bored and otherwise too easy to match. Don't tell him. I always need to do this whenever I play against him. I suspect he thinks he's putting up a fight based on how focused he seems. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> silly yep. Liam. Silly, yeah, silly Liam. Anyways, I yeah, I do love chess. 
Aw, that was very nice. <laughs> uh, whenever the prank master goes hiding, sure you can tell oh, God. the consequences of their mess. Next week, all resources gained and lose from events are increased by one. Oh, okay. This is going well. I'm okay. Oh, you can either talk to Joy or change. Wait, if you talk to her, does oh, that oh, activate? That's how you activate it. You son I of a bitch! I asked you that. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, 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 no. To be fair, I thought I thought it was passive as well. Yeah, I did too. Uh, actually, just talk to Joy. You do well. Do we need someone? I mean, no, we don't need her. It doesn't matter who it is. I just have to pick up somebody and talk to them. We can change it if. No, I mean, we could use some soul. Be well, it's nine right now. Ah, we can use some soul. Oh, man, we could. I mean, I you could that. risk it to get another pass. Yeah, another yeah. Yeah, change the picture, Alex. Hey. Veer, 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 veer. You'll gain one money and lose one soul. Yeah, and then let's see. For one week, every turn, you'll gain one of your lowest stat and you'll lose one of your highest stat. That was also yeah. really good. Dead. That's good. But Veer! <laughs> I don't care. Bye guys. Yeah, I've got evil to fight. Yeah, yeah. to join your sure? road trip. I'll go with you. Oh my man. Uh, fine, I guess I'll come. But this had better be worth my precious time. <sighs> Cats can't normally drive, but I am no normal cat. Nice. Oh, me, fuck. Eyes on the wheel, eyes on you were killing it. <laughs> Barely, I've only completed two. Yeah, but look at your money compared to ours. The mind is almost high as Come on, you can do this. Yo, what are you talking about, dude? Alex, I just hadn't counted the money yet. you ever seen a cat drive? Oh, hey, that works. Driving is so relaxing. Let's do this. That really made me enjoy talking to him. <laughs> yeah, call me. Mm. I don't know what this fucking kid's doing. Anyway, I hate to I hate to get off yeah. early, but we no, need to good. save because I gotta I gotta like lay down with him or something because this homie is not going to sleep for whatever. Yeah, he has been acting up all night. is good. Daddy. Alright. It's fine. Ooh, shit. It's fine. That sucks that I can't choose that one because that was my thing. I know. Daddy. It's fine. Alright, guys. I'm sorry to call it early, but I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, you're good, man. I'll see you tomorrow.